You're watching today's Homesteader channel here at Peaceful Valley Ranch in Cotopaxi, Colorado, starring yours truly, Johnny Jules. All right, Homesteader family. So I just got home from the post office and I had a package here and a box from China here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my camera flipped around and I'm going to show you guys. I got some pictures in, uh, in the one from my mom from when she was out here. And different photos I've uploaded online that she printed out. And I've got the dog tag, name tag things for all the animals at the ranch. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, I'm back. So I'm going to show you guys the pictures that my mom sent me first. And then I'll go ahead and show you the name tags that I purchased online. So here we go. So I'll just go through them. So that's me giving baby boy a kiss. Because he's so sweet. We got Minnie Mouse when she was a little bit younger. Mickey Mouse when he was younger. We've got Jackson and Tiny Dude. We've got Stinky Boy, Fat Butt Mongo. We got Mickey and Minnie. When they were, let's see, where is that? Oh, that's over at the new ranch because that's uh, the barn building going on in the background. And they were hiding underneath the plywood. We got a couple of the piggies hanging out. And we got mud. So for those of you that don't know mud, uh, mud was like, I think 10 years old or something. And I'm not sure what happened to him. He ended up dying in uh, 2017. And like I said, there's uh, the barn building going on in the background. So that's a remembrance of Mud for those of you that knew him. We got Mongo, Jackson, and the other goats in the background. And that's of course at the ranch too. And that's Tiny Dude hanging over the fence trying to get kisses. And that's over on the ranch. That's a big rock outcropping that I have with Minnie and Jackson up top with me. And that's one of our hikes out on the mountaintops. Uh, let's see, with Jackson there, Mickey, either Tiny Dude or Baby Boy, and Minnie Mouse. And then this is what a go herder looks like. Me out taking all the goats on the walk and the dogs. Everybody hanging out and doing well. And then we got Mickey Mouse right there. Looking like a stud over the fence. We got Mickey and Minnie when they were a bit younger. And that's when they had their bone dog cross or dog name tags that got lost somehow. So like I said, I just got new ones for all the animals. So I'll show you those. We got Jackson out there on the rock outcropping over at the ranch. And that shows you all the mountains in the background. Just beautiful. Oh, no, it's not. I take that back. This picture is here at Hummingbird. And this is on the road that goes to the top of the mountain here. And the way I know that is all the houses down below. You can see houses and stuff. Over at the other place, it's not the case. And there's when I had my... My goatee with Minnie Mouse hanging over for a picture. And we got Minnie Mouse just hanging out right there on the ground in the house. And we got Baby Boy and Tiny Dude with the blurred picture. Something's wrong with that picture. Their faces are all distorted. And then we got Mickey and Minnie hanging out when they were younger. And then these are some pictures from online that I post on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. We got me and Lil Max sleeping. We got me and Lil Max again when Max was a real puppy. Me and Minnie Mouse hanging out on the couch. Got me and Max again. Look at that little cute face. And we got Mama Max. Mouse, whatever. Little Max is up front when he was real, real tiny. 
There's that cute little chubby face again. Here's one when he always sleeps on his back. I don't know why, but I got a lot of pictures of him sleeping on his back. And like this one, on his back with his mouth wide open. So, just adorable little guy. And Mama and Max hanging out on the futon. And that's when Max was really, really tiny. And we got another up close. And then last one of me and Max. Alright, so that's all the photos that my mom sent that she took pictures of and uh, copied pictures offline and had them printed out for me. And not just for me, for you guys, because now you guys got to enjoy the photos, as do I. So the next thing is the box from China. So inside the box, they send a free gift with each uh, name tag that you buy. So I have a whole bunch of these. And basically what it is, you put it on your wrist. And it's an animal clicker. And you train your animals. Right, Man Mouse? But many is untrainable. So these don't matter. So I've got like 25 of these that I don't need. That's it. Check that out. Entire box of nothing but clickers. And this is it for the name tags. So they could have just sent a tiny little thing of name tags. But because they have it on eBay as a free gift. Even though I didn't want them. They had to send them anyhow. Because that's the rules and regulations. And then what we're going to do. I'm going to move you guys over here to the kitchen. Uh, so that way I can pull everything out. Just give me a second to get a rag and wipe the counter. So that way I don't have a bunch of dirt and stuff getting on. But anyhow. So these are name tags that I got. And I bought. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I bought eighteen of them. It was like fifty-two dollars or something like that for all of them. And the reason I did that is because all the dogs are gonna get a name tag. So that's three right there. All of the goats that I have currently, which is let's see, baby boy, tiny dude, Jackson. Mongo and Mimi. So that's five more right there. And then the new baby goats that I'm going to have. And new puppies this summer. So anyhow. They come with this little clip that's on them. They make these things impossible. There we go. So basically. They all. are. I chose the black enamel. Because I just like the black look. Comes with a little clasp that I can just go ahead and hook. And if I don't think that's strong enough, they also send a free bigger clasp. So it's easier to open and close. And it's a lot stronger to hold on. And it has the D ring, or not the D rings, whatever these round rings are, split rings. And they also come with a even bigger split ring. Then what's on there in case you want to go heavy duty or whatnot. So anyhow, so that's the front of it with the black enamel. And then on the back, I had them all laser etched. So it says today's homesteader. Let's see if it focuses. It's because it's so shiny. But you can see there they all say today's homesteader. And then it has our phone number on it. So then that way... Um, any of the animals that take off or get out or get loose, dogs, goats, uh, what have you, then, uh, they all have their own little tag. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and take off the small split ring on here, put the big one on and hook those just like that. So they dangle so people can see them well. And that way. I don't have to worry about my animals uh, getting shot or going to the pound or anything like that. 
And like I said, eventually I'm going to have the sign of today's homesteader over on the property. So people in the area are going to get to know me well. And that's why I didn't put names on the tags. Because in that way, you put a name on a tag, something happens to that animal and dies, or it gets hurt and dies, or takes off and never comes back, then you have a wasted tag. This way, with the Today's Homesteader on there, everybody will know it comes from the ranch. And I can go ahead and move these. So if an animal does die, I can take the tag off and use it on the next animal. So just a little bit of thinking that way. And that's all I got for you guys today. So take it easy and have a good day. I just want to take a moment and say thank you guys for watching my videos, for donating, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it, and it really means a lot to me. And remember, live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.